Unfortunately, there is a lot more where that came from. This is the Hoof GP. I know you never saw the start of this trim, but ouchie. This is one we're almost certainly gonna have to bandage. It probably goes without saying, but this cow was struggling to walk because of what was going on inside this foot. Pus is effectively a byproduct of your immune system's fight against an invader, usually bacteria or fungi, in some cases, digital dermatitis. The buildup can be brown, pink, green, yellow, or in cases like this, it can be a globular, creamy fluid. And this cow has plenty of it, hidden beneath these layers of hoof horn. Right now, as I cut away at this wall horn, it's hard to see all of the congealed pus, but trust me, it's there. If I put too much force through my knife on this wall horn, it's going to slice into that delicate tissue you can see just above the wall horn. And that is something I really desperately want to avoid. I keep thinking I'll get it all to be honest. It's hard to know exactly when to stop in cases like this, and sometimes you think that you've got everything that needs to be gotten. But trust me, with this one, we're not quite there yet. Sometimes you think you've gone far enough when all it needs is a little wash for you to be able to realise that actually there's still some work to do. I filmed this to show the difference between that last one that we didn't bandage and this one that we were definitely going to need to bandage. and. She doesn't actually need bandage. <laughs> As you've all just heard me say, I thought this was going to be a very open lesion that would require being bandaged. But we only bandage when we want to kill the external layers of tissue. She's got dermatitis too as well. In the case of hoof trimmers, bandages are not used to keep these lesions clean. They're used to keep products in place to kill the dermis and any infection or digital dermatitis that is being housed within that tissue. 